He's trying so hard. <laughs> Exercising the ah, 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 turbo. No, that's not for you. You're not a turtle. We've been through this. No. <laughs> Snows. This is like what? Two inches away from one of those pellets. You better be careful. Colby's gonna get you. So much restraint for a puppy. For a dog in general. Every dog I've ever had. They've never been okay with just letting the tortoise have his food. They'll pretend that they're going to leave it alone. But then if I turn my back, they're like, nope, fine. They run away with it. Just remove temptation there. Go ahead and hand that over to Colby. Colby's having a snack, a treat. Usually gets lettuce, but today gets the tortoise pellets and it's... Oh, I don't know if that came through the mic. That was a tortoise fart. Never heard one of those before. And, but you're welcome. What's up, garden friends? Jeff here. How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. It was a beautiful cloudy day like total overcast and raining and nice and humid which is great because the heat's on in the house so the air's bone dry inside hence why the windows are cracked trying to let some of that moist air into the house but the sun came out and now i feel weird about today's activities when the sun's out i feel like i'm supposed to be out there doing things but i need to get on top of decorating make that sound like i haven't done yet i've done quite a bit but not in the other room. Toby, say hi. It's like I have to prove that he's alive in every single video. There he is, there's Toby, having a nap. Where's your collar? There it is, it's just hanging out underneath your Toby skin. And then, you know, all this stuff happened last week too. So now it's time to tackle the kitchen, which is like the biggest project of all of them. So I don't know why this is the area I chose to put into a vlog, but well, here we are. This window is always like the main focal point of the holiday decorating. And I thought that this would be a good time to do this because it was really cloudy out so things wouldn't be back late but the, while the sun came out. So you're not really gonna be able to see much what's going on. Maybe I'll do this part at nighttime. Just like do it with some music or something like that. Cause I'm gonna have people here. So I don't really wanna record where there are people here. But when I go through this spot, I'm gonna be pulling out all of the glass terrariums, finding new spots for those, moving some plants out to the grow space and just deciding what to do here and then setting up all the gingerbread houses and the garland to, you know, it's just gonna make it, make it look Christmassy. This window is always the biggest challenge because I have so many terrariums, <laughs> those glass terrariums over there and finding a place to put them during the holidays is usually a struggle because I don't really have any other windows that get the right light other than this one but we'll figure it out i don't want to put them out in the gross space because it's not quite warm enough out there yet <laughs> pumpkin why you mean mugging me pumpkin already gotten started got some of the gingerbread houses set up here i need to do something with these towels though these will be covered in glitter if i don't put those away put the towels away got some new candles there from black friday and uh yeah I'll just start you know doing the thing okay i gave it like 45 minutes that way the sun could maybe move out of the way so things won't be so terribly backlit while I'm doing this. And yes, by the way, kitchen's a mess. I didn't see a reason to clean up when I'm about to make a really big mess. Doesn't make sense. That was the other reason that I wanted to get in here and start doing all this today because I need to clean the kitchen. And it makes more sense to clean the kitchen after there will be glitter just sprung everywhere in here. The first thing to do, clear out the window, get the plants out. Some will be returning to the window. Be careful, almost just broke that. <coughs> can have a look at some of them while we're at it. This orchid's looking beautiful. Can you even see it? There we go. Love this orchid. Doesn't have a name, just some kind of random assorted Phalaenopsis. This is my Fuller Sunset, which is a beautiful Phalaenopsis. It has like big, bright yellow flowers on it and flowers very reliably. However, this orchid always has mealybugs on it. It needs a rinse because it has mealybugs. This, it's had mealybugs on it for like two years. They absolutely love this orchid. I don't know why. I spray it all the time. It gets sprayed down with soap and then a few days later there's more mealybugs and then you know it's like a once a week thing trying to get them off of there. Grab some mangoes when I was at Petco. Mangoes. Mangroves. Got these a couple weeks ago they were in Clarence at Petco and well they don't they're not going to focus but it doesn't matter. They look horrible. I'm all for getting the Clarence plants and trying to save them. Mangroves. Not the smartest one to do that with. They grow so slowly but I'll get those put underneath my fish tank here fairly soon in the fresh water one. They'll rebound more quickly in fresh water if they're even going to rebound. This is a pretty anthurium. Got that to do a winter arrangement with that I haven't gotten around to doing yet. Don't know if I will. Same thing with this false Aurelia. 
Lovely plant, beautiful plant. Did you lose a toy? All right, I'm sure you'll find it. There's only like a one inch gap down there. It couldn't be very far. There's that Denver amaryllis that I showed in last week's video. It's already going out of bloom. This is why you don't want to get your amaryllis too early because it's December 1st today and yeah, <laughs> already going out of bloom. That's okay though, it's a beautiful amaryllis. I'll be keeping this one for a long time. They still make nice house plants even when they're not in bloom. Don't know what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I know what I want to do with it. I don't know if I'm gonna get around to it though. Dumb Dressina, we talked about in last week's video. Enjoy or pearls, I can't remember. Pretty pothos that you, you can't even see it. Actually, because it's so hard to see it, this is a little bit better. But, um, maybe I'll just cut back when the window's cleared off. We can have a look at the terrariums when they're on the other side. There we go. That's much better. I've made room for all of the things. Orchids are having a quick soak. I went through it and just by hand removed the mealies and gave this a gentle spray with some soap. These have all been hanging out together in this window for over a year and the mealies never seem to have any interest in getting on the other orchids. They just really seem to prefer the fuller sunset over the little babies down here. There are a few spikes on some of these, but well, they're tiny. It's not that exciting. I'll show you when they flower. Over here, got some stuff ready to go up in the window. Remember the ornament planter made this last year? There's a side that I completed during the video. There's the side where I was like, eh, forget it, I'm done. I didn't have enough ornaments. It was, you know, just like a yearly sit down, glue things to a pot Q and A thing where the, there was also drinking involved. Here are the terrariums. I went in and cracked the lids to get the condensation out, which I don't do very often. So if you don't know, here's a little backstory. These terrariums I did for a series called Terrarium Tuesday back in, I want to say it was probably, I don't know, February of 2019, where once a week, every Tuesday for several weeks, I did a different apothecary jar and tried to do them in a slightly different style. And then I went a year without giving any updates. I tried to hide them as much as I could, then gave a follow-up on those. Was it 2020 that I did these? I don't think, maybe it was. Could have been 2020 when I did these, right? It may have been. Either way, I've had them for a fairly long time. They have only been opened a few times. That first year that went by, I only opened them one time, gave them a drink of water one time, then closed them back up and didn't touch them after that. And then the following year I did an update on them and gave a good look at what they looked like since a year had passed and nobody had seen them. And I wanted to basically just show what these looked like with very minimal care. And they did fairly well. But now that we're pushing the two or maybe three year mark, I should really pull out my phone and look up when I did those videos, but you get the point. It's been a while. They, uh, well, they could use a refreshing. So that will be happening this year. The uh, parlor palm actually is looking much, much, much better for a while this one was very light yellow you could tell that it was having a lot of issues with nitrogen because this is just wrapped up in moss there's nothing else in there there's nothing to break down or release any nutrient or anything for the plant so this is the only one where i did make sure to fertilize it so uh, i would say probably every other month for the last several months i would pull this out and put it in a bowl of water that just had a tiny bit of fertilizer in it and that did allow it to start putting out some nice darker green foliage. However, that did also <laughs> lend the nutrients there for lots of algae growth. That's all right. I don't mind it and easy to fix, right? Some peroxide, no big deal. This one, super thirsty. There's a begonia in there, asparagus fern, a mini pixie <laughs> syngonium. You can kind of see it in there, sort of. These do have critters in them too. There are some springtails and various other critters to do some cleanup. This one right here, pretty pink syngonium. Some sort of microsorum fern, can't remember what kind. Lots and lots of moss. Too much, actually I need to do a cleanup in there so you can barely see inside of it. I would say this one is probably the worst looking of all of them. And I'm not really certain why, because I did put some critters in there and tried to introduce some nutrient, but again, it's been a few years. So chances are by now that would probably just appreciate it's like actual fresh soil instead of the terrarium mix it's pretty bland that i have in there and yeah so i'll be doing something with that when there's a tongue fern in there too it's just sitting in its pot or a heart fern sorry yeah i never even got around to potting that one this one has always been one of my favorites because it has those um super dwarf pixie syngoniums in there which are one of my favorite terrarium plants look at them they're stinking adorable look at how lovely lush and full these have gotten their growth is nice and firm very very happy and healthy looking and look at this can you tell which side 
faces the window. And it has some random ferns that have started to pop out from that moss. I suppose some spores survived on that preserved sheet moss that I used to make those moss balls, which is fun and exciting. Always nice to have extra growth. Just look at how lush this is. That is so full and beautiful. There's even, there's another fern popping up in there that doesn't really have much room to grow. And then there's this side, the side that faces into the house. So lesson learned here, need to rotate this, right? And I think this could actually use some water, but everything in this one is doing what I had hoped it would do. They're growing upwards, their roots have come down. It's harder to see, but I was hoping that their roots would start to spread down the sides. There's some in the bottom that have grown through the moss. Perfect, that's what I wanted them to do. So there's that update. This one, by far, my favorite. I mean, look at that. So lush and so pretty. I'm gonna try and find a way to keep a few of these in the window with all the Christmas decor because they just clearly, at least this one, very happy over here or over there. And this one, it's just, it's a pain to move this one because I have like heat stuff wrapped around it. So it'll stay there for now. Just a big bulky bulbous shape. It's always hard to find a different place to put that. It can stay. Oh no, no, hold on. I remember this one over here, which you can't see. This one was done in 2019. <laughs> That's that piece of moss that fell off the coconut that Turbo ate in a vlog a few weeks ago and I tossed it in there. Cryptanthus, a maidenhair fern, and then a syngonium. That's not very dwarf anymore. These all need their glass wiped down. And then these were 2020. So yeah, the goal with all these was to set them up and to like barely do anything to maintain them, give them water if they absolutely needed it. There, and there are springtails and isopods in these, there's only isopods in a few of them. Ironically, the ones that look the worst. That's because uh, I, I wasn't feeding the isopods enough, so they're going to chew on the plants or whatever they're doing in there to get by, so that's my fault. In February of 2022, going to do some remodeling with a few of these and I'll get the glass cleaned up and have a better look at them when I do all of that, when it's time for their two-year update. But for right now, need to get back on task and get the garland up in this window. That's always a fun thing to do. I'm not sure how to film that. My tripod, actually, I think this tripod gets pretty big. I'm trying to remember one of my tripods, I got it last year and I was like, why is this so big? This seems unnecessary. And I think that it was this one. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. Look, there's still all, all this left on it. Yep, that just keeps getting bigger. Okay, this is ridiculous. Not sure. <laughs> I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that'll do it. In what world would that be necessary? Actually, that has come in handy a few times. I need to get shots of plants that were really tall. I, sh I should put my camera on this. How am I gonna, crap. This has bad idea written all over it. Another reason I didn't clean up yet because I'm gonna be up here with my bare feet walking on the counters, which is nasty. I do not like this at all. That camera better not go tumbling down. Hopefully this is in frame. I have the old A7S II, which doesn't have a flip out monitor, at least uh, not one that flips out to where you can see it from the front. So I have, can we see what's happening here? Hope so. Ah. I think I can't put my sunglasses on that sun is bright. Just realized I don't even know if this thing is recording because I can't, nope, can't see it. Is there a red light on up there? Can we tell? Ugh. Oh wait, yes. I think that means, I think that means everything's okay. So, things we do for these YouTube videos. All right, I am putting a lot of faith in you right now to not chew on those lemons. Can you resist? Can you do it? I know you're gonna try that. Ah, no, 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 those aren't for you. Good boy, you're a good boy. You didn't do anything wrong yet, you're okay. Okay, all right. Get this up here, tuck that away, then I gotta get up and do the thing. You know, <laughs> this is probably not as great as what a lot of other people would do, which would be to just set up the camera and play some pretty music while the decor goes up. I don't, should I do that? Probably what I should be doing, right? Eh, it's a vlog. That's never how I've really done things unless I'm planting stuff outside. Maybe later. Get this up here. We good? Sturdy? Stable? All right. Let's do this. Ugh. 
Ugh, oh, there's so much glitter. Oh no. Wow, it is really toasty up here. This would be a great place to keep, I don't know where I'd put them, but I feel like the plants would be super happy up here. Garlands twisted. I need to bend that out the right direction. You know, the one side's more flat than the others. Is that better? Can you even see what's happening up here? This in frame? I have no idea. Got the candy pieces back up there. Those fell down. You know, they're hook or something over here. This garland's gotten so old that it doesn't want to bend back and it's supposed to be over here. Instead, it's kind of dangling down in front of the window. <laughs> Just go where you're supposed to go. All right, stay. Okay, see how hard it is to see up there? Yeah, that's what I was doing most the whole time. Just blinding. So this is just, however it looks, it's gonna have to do. At least for right now. Still need to hang these up. He's being such a good little baby. Leave. Yep, things are dusty up there. That hook there. Just gently drag this down. Yeah, there we go. Let it drape. I don't remember this being that long. It does actually seem somewhat familiar. Maybe, I don't know. I've been doing virtually the same thing in this window every year since like, oh, 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 oh. Careful now, don't fall down. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing up here for like, I don't know, 10 years maybe? You'd think that I would remember these things, but somehow just forget as the years go on. Okay, I'm gonna get down now. Now that that's done, give the counter a nice wipe down. The soil on there and glitter. And I just walk around barefoot. And by the way, I keep my feet very clean, but still, I mean, you know, prepare food in this area. You know, and I only move those terrariums out of this window a few times a year. Pull them out, get the glass clean, and that's like really the only times I can get in here and do a nice heavy wipe down. There we go, nice, clean, and shiny. I also just realized that the fan I've had going in the background, that thing was blasting on full speed this entire time, so I hope that that wasn't too obnoxious in the audio. If it was, I'm sorry. Some fake snow. Oh, this is very glittery. Wow. I do not like the way that feels on my fingers. Yep, that's felt. I have sort of an odd aversion to felt. I do not care for the way it feels on my fingers when I'm touching it. Almost the perfect size. Not quite. That's all right. It'll do. So fun. The white's starting to fade on these. Isn't that a shame? I don't know what to do about that. Do you do? Rub some like Colgate on it? Baking soda? And then probably just have to repaint those. That would suck. I don't want to do that. Last one. There it is. A little bit wonky. These have gotten sort of old. They're starting to fall apart. I technically still have one more, but I think I might put it in a different room. Give that a little twist. Probably put that over there. Yeah, I do. I need one more, but they don't match. So, uh, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. That'll work. It's a cookie jar, but evens things out. I moved the big one. I wish this stupid faucet wasn't here. It's stupid. A little bit necessary for the sink, I suppose. I bumped that up onto the piece of styrofoam packaging that goes in its box. It looks wonky on camera because the lighting, but it's level. Just doesn't look like it through the video. I don't know, it's sort of weird. If this weren't an important piece of packaging that I needed to store this during the winter time, I think it'd be neat to carve that up and make it look like a hillside, but also, we don't really need to do too much with this. That's, that's not necessary. All right, a few things left to do, and this window will be done. Get these fake flowers out of here, and then I'm gonna dump these oranges in here. That's where those will hang out this winter. Well, that's kind of pretty. I know it's a bunch of fake stuff, which we tend to frown on in the garden community, but look at all the color. That's fun, so refreshing. Okay, that's dirty. Give this a quick wipe down. It amazes me how quickly glass gets fogged up and nasty. I swear, I feel like every three or four weeks I'm going through and scrubbing just about everything in this kitchen. A little bit linty. All my microfibers are in the wash right now, so that'll have to do. entertaining? I feel like maybe it's not. I'm just shoving things in a vase. If 
That's always pretty. I usually put some fairy lights in here, some string lights back here in the corner. Usually this is tucked back there, but the gar that garland, the wire's not behaving. It doesn't want to go anywhere that I tell it to. So I have to fix that another time. Okay, not done, close enough. I'm gonna come back in a few hours when there's no sun over here. I can actually have a look at what's going on. Oh, this looks so good. So much fun, so much color. So I have more decorating to do. I just finished that window. Well, I didn't just finish it. I finished it like a few hours ago. There's still lots of other spaces to decorate. Then we'll go around and look at everything. Why does it smell like poop? Did someone poop? Turbo? Turbo? I don't think you did. I don't think he did. The gates have been wide open for like a week and a half. He's been pretty good ever since, but I don't... Uh, I don't know. I've circled the house. I don't see anything. Was it you, Pablo Escobar? Always keeping things so classy over here. Come watch my video where we'll decorate for Christmas. Also, here's some tortoise farts and dog poop. Yeah, I just got way ahead of myself. I forgot I have to clear a spot for where this needs to go. Take the vases down and find a new spot for them for the winter time. Really, I should probably get rid of some of these. Most of these hardly ever get used. Okay, that's better. I'm gonna open this thing up and take you guys up nice and high again. Get it out of my way. Okay, well there are worse things to have in frame than beautiful holographic wrapping paper. It's just gonna have to stay. That's where a whole bunch of gingerbread themed nutcrackers and I think that's mostly it, just nutcrackers. Those all go up here. Let's chunk. Isn't it adorable? I think the main reason I like this one is because its hat reminded me of Toad from Mario. Sugar cone Christmas trees. Why not? Gingerbread chef, he's fun. That can go up there. I don't remember having this one, but I do. It's got a little, like an Oreo and a mint on it. It says Hollywood Adler, so it's Kurt Adler. Yep, don't know where it came from, but it's very sparkly. It's so much, so much glitter. Another music box. Does he move his arms? Nope. I feel like I should put that somewhere else. If it has a music box in it, that should be where more people can reach it, right? Because it's interactive, maybe? Oh, this one has a little cupcake. That's fun. There they are, all lined up together. Now I have a garland to go up there that all my garlands are getting old and starting to fall apart. Excuse me, Turbo. Excuse me, baby. Turbo, move. It's a puppy. It's always glued to my feet, which is really sweet, but obnoxious when you have things and you're moving around and trying not to spill stuff all over the place. Here, it looks better in person. <laughs> because partially these bows could use a refreshing. <laughs> Pretty sad looking, those were getting old. Little whimsy, didn't put much into it. I like should probably get up there and move those guys around so they're more visible, but for now this is good. I can fine tune later. Okay, need to do something with this spot too. Need to take these down. Probably do some dusting up there too. Aren't these nice? I think these are from Pier 1. I can't remember. Pier 1 or Home Goods. I don't know. Both those places have nice jugs. More gingerbread critters that are usually a pain to put up here. They never want to stand up on their own. They have like weighted feet and wire bottoms. They always come down. Your bread horse. It's always good to put something heavy right above where people walk. How does this work? I never noticed how creepy this one is with the legs painted on in the torso up there. I'm okay with that. Sometimes Christmas needs a little bit of creepy in it. Have some of these things in the wrong spots. Scoot that down. There's a brace here in the middle, so it's always hard to get this piece centered. Uh, just fell right on my eyes. It's actually pretty much impossible to get it centered. So that'll do. You good? You gonna stay? Stay there. And Christmas mouse. Feel like I'm forgetting something that's supposed to be up here, but this is it for what's in the side of that tote. So maybe I'm not. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. Does it need snowmen? This one, I think it was supposed to be on a sleigh, but it doesn't have a sleigh in this one. It's just, but they're really cute together, aren't they? Oh, maybe not like that or like that. Just here, how about that? Yeah, fun little snow friends. Should probably put them far apart so that that doesn't accidentally happen again. Maybe like this. Yeah, that doesn't fit in with anything else. It's perfect, I'll leave it like that. But they don't look like they're doing anything, do they? No. Uh, no, they're fine. Yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure something's missing that's supposed to be up here, but I don't know what it is, so this, this is good, it's fine. Oh, I could put the candles back up there. 
maybe, assuming there's room for them. Like squeeze one up there and get a little one. Maybe, maybe that'll fit right there. Does that work? Is it wonky? I can't tell from down here. Eh, it's a little wonky, but I don't care. <laughs> get this one back here. Okay, well that didn't exactly make these go together any better, but at least I don't have to figure out what to do with those candles now. They can stay up there. I think they look nice up there. It's light out, it's the next day. I told you I had people over, so I had to abruptly end things. And then when I picked up again with the rest of what I need to do, I unpacked a few things and realized that I did. This is wrong. There are other things that are supposed to be up there. Some things got packed away kind of odd last year. Oddly, I should say. Since there's still so much, do you have a face in there? My God, like a Shih Tzu. So now that I've figured that out, I'm gonna redo some things. Maybe we just cut to some relaxing music while I finish up the rest of the things. Because if I talk through absolutely all of this, that's, oh, oh, this video's gonna be way too long. That is, if it isn't already, I don't know, but I'm having fun. Hope you are too. None of these are for you. He's being so good. He hasn't touched a single thing so far. Hey, pumpkin. Oh yeah, there's Creepy Steve. Creepy Steve the snowman. He hangs outside the window and stares in the house. Okay. So I got this all fixed up. There are these baking Santa Clauses that are supposed to go up there and I just forgot about them. They're in a different tote. Great big gingerbread man up there and then lots of little nutcrackers. All different ones, different details, doing different things. All of them for the most part are food themed because you know, we're in the kitchen. Can you hear the dog drinking in the background? Is that absolutely ruining this? Oh yeah. My audio spikes are definitely moving. It's Turbo, always a thirsty pup. You love your water, don't you, Turbo? Okay, you want outdoors? Okay, all right. The bells hung up on the, good boy. I'm gonna teach him to use these bells. Outdoors, and sit. Good sit, there you go. There you go, good boy. Go to the, what are you doing? You looking for your friend? The neighbor's got a puppy and he has been obsessed with it. There we go, top of the pie safe, all fixed up, looking. Crowded and I'm fine with it. Got the gingerbread horse up there with the gingerbread people and the snow men and a little Christmas mouse tucked away up there with everything. Those candles look nice at nighttime when the lights are off. A few things on the table. Got the runner out and the little gingerbread cake. I think that's what this is. Is that supposed to be a cake? It's got tears on it. The yes, cake? No, yes, maybe? I don't know. Welcome back, Turbo. Of course. Gotta get you the cookies. Here you go. Your face looks very long on the wide angle lens turbo. I know it probably bothers people that this garland is kind of messy and doesn't go all the way to the bottom, but I wanted to keep it up higher because of, well, you know, him and ornaments and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on the tree. I was going to put food themed ornaments on here, like cupcakes, donuts, those things, but um, I don't know. That may have to wait a year or so, maybe next year, just 
when I know that he won't chew on anything breakable that falls on the ground. I mean, steady on top of the fridge, because why not? I had it, so there it is. And then the gingerbread space window. What, I don't know what you would call this. Got the marshmallow mugs. Those are hot cocoa mugs. I mean, they're mugs, but they look like burnt marshmallows. Stacked up in the corners there. I have a whole bunch of those. There's more on the other side. These are just the extras. Gingerbread chefs and random gingerbread figures just piled high. So many little things, eventually it becomes hard to figure out what to do with them. So that's why I have this spot that I just put all the little knickknacks in. The snow globes and little cupcakes and baking sheets. I think that these actually are supposed to go up with one of those Santa Clauses. Maybe, I'm not sure. I love this snow globe, isn't that sweet? It's like all the right colors on it. So fun, festive, Christmassy. This is, I don't know where it came from, but you barely touch it and it starts playing music. It's kind of annoying, but cute. That's probably copyrighted, stop it. It doesn't have an off button. It just does that pretty much all year round. You put it in the totes and take it downstairs. You can hear it start to talk and you bring the totes back upstairs. You can hear it start to talk. Been going strong for like five or six years. Probably take the batteries out, but hasn't been breaking, so I guess it's okay. This is the baking sand I was talking about where I think maybe those cookie trays are supposed to go, but I'm not positive. I don't really know where they would fit. I put some little gingerbread men up there. Nah, it doesn't matter. Why well, aren't these fun? Gingerbread picks that have the legs made out of candies. There's another one over here somewhere. There he is. Look at him. Isn't he fun? He's got little wobbly bits. Yeah, that's all there is to that. Was that entertaining, Pumpkin? She was looking up at there. There's there's Snowman Steve. Creepy Steve looking in through the window. That's been fun when people come over because you don't expect it. And all of a sudden someone sees it and they go, <gasps> they gasp, get startled. Nothing says the holidays like pulling pranks on people. Here's the window. This is the spot where I by far spent the most time, for sure because I wanted to try and incorporate the plants this year. All of the other years when I've put the gingerbread houses over here, I've made it a point to get all the plants out of the window and take them out to the grow space or find a different room for them. I just really didn't feel like doing that this year. Those terrariums, you know, four of them, at least four out of the six, were doing pretty well in this window and I didn't want to relocate them. I figured this is a garden window. Seems appropriate to go ahead and keep the plants in the mix. And I'm really glad that I did the glass. I like how it reflects the various lights that are over here. Looks pretty, nice and shiny. Love shiny things. I have this taller vase in the back that I put these holiday branches and they look like they have ice chunks on them. Down in the bottom, I don't know how it's gonna show on camera, but it has fake ice chunks in it. Yeah, you can kind of tell. And that light reflects nicely off the ornaments next to it. I would mention when I put that together, I usually put string lights in there, but I wasn't sure if I was going to, and that's because I was hoping that it would catch the light from those over there. And I would say it's catching the light very nicely, that looks pretty. Chucked a whole bunch of, am well not a whole bunch, three amaryllis bulbs in the mix over here. They're the wax bulbs. They were a gift, so it's nice to have them. I don't normally buy the wax bulbs just because you, you only get one season out of them. I don't know, it feels a little bit wasteful because it's not quite like with an annual where they can be propagated super fast. It takes a little while to get those bulbs that big. It's all right though, I th actually think that it worked out nicely having them because they tuck in so well without taking up much space and that's gonna add Really nice pops of color that's all gonna be gone by the time Christmas actually gets here, but for now, it's really pretty. They are loaded, absolutely loaded with flowers on them. And when they're done flowering, that's okay. I have other amaryllis that will be coming into flower in a couple of weeks, and I've mixed in some other plants that have some pretty decent holiday color on them. There's an anthurium down here, has a nice holiday-ish red on it. And then I have this little sleigh over here that this was intended to be its own video. I was gonna plant up a sleigh with a bunch of house plants, and the sleigh is just, it's way too small. So I just went ahead and tucked them in here. There's a false Aurelia back there, Fetonia, and a Rex Pagonia over here. Just some color. In fact, I had actually gotten this pothos here with the intention of incorporating that into the sleigh. And when the sleigh came in the mail, I was like, well, that's, that's clearly not going to fit. I could probably take a cutting off of it and stick it in with the Fetonia and have that drape over the front. That'd be pretty. So much fun and whimsy. These gingerbread houses used to light up, but they're very old. I think they're from 2006 maybe, so that function doesn't really work on any of them anymore. In fact, this one, I think that this little train up here spun around, maybe. Well, maybe it didn't, I thought it did, I don't know. They're all fiber optic and this one, the inside lit up on it. It looks really cool. I'm gonna mess with those some more over the weekend and see if I can't at least maybe get a couple of them working. He's just here because I didn't know where else to put them, so 
this is where he ended up. I have the orchids tucked away pretty much where they already were. I already had my smaller Phalaenopsis orchids pushed back there towards the window. They like this window because it gets pretty cold at nighttime. Spot is not insulated well, which is why I like the apothecary jars for the terrariums, ones that have the legs on them, because the jars themselves, the glasses, lifted up and off of the cold stone countertop. It's really neither here nor there, just thought I'd mention that. Extra poinsettia up there, looking pretty, nice and pink. And if I were feeling more ambitious slash just had the materials around, I do think it'd be kind of cute to drop some plastic ornaments or something in the terrariums. Something that would just look fast and reflect some light, but I don't know. I think this is good just like this. Oh, my Christmas nut. Probably saw me washing this earlier. It's a crystal peanut. I don't know why I have it. It's just a fun random thing. Fun having those weird random things that just don't necessarily make sense, like the balloon animal over there. Little things that kind of grab the eye and you remember where you got that from. And it's full of glitter that someone sent in a Christmas card a few years ago, which was in... Kind of an inside joke because I despise glitter. It's pretty, it's sparkly, it looks great, I get it, but oh, it's so messy and it makes my skin burn and itch. It goes everywhere, not a fan. And I think there are some environmental issues with it too. That's like, I don't even care about that because I just prefer to not have it around, but it is on everything that's Christmas themed. Hard to escape the glitter. This, I can't figure out why this is doing that. This is supposed to, oh, cause it's broken. That's why. Yep, need to fix that. Don't really know how I'll do that, but it used to spin. It would rotate up there. That looked neat when it worked. It still looks neat, just not quite the same. This is a candle holder, and um, I didn't feel like putting a candle in it, so here's some soap. And a fancy soap thing that has like a wax seal on it, and it says Snowy Night. Foaming Shea Butter <laughs> Hand Soap. I do like this candle holder though, because it looks like Christmas cookies. Really fancy elaborate. Are those Christmas cookies or are they just Christmas figurines? It's just that one looks like a Christmas cookie. I don't know, it fits well in the kitchen. Over here in this corner, I have cookies for Santa. There's a picture of Tucker. That's Tucker's first Christmas right there. Used to be a coffee pot here. I don't really drink coffee anymore. Mostly just stick to tea. So I put the coffee pot away and I'm uh, getting a, um, a plate stand to put this on so that that will sit up right. Over here and take up less space. Extra mugs over here. I think that this is for Solger, Solger, <laughs> Parks and Rec. Sugar, I'm pretty sure there's a little spoon in here. Spent a while looking for that spoon. It was, it was in there the entire time. So that sits in there. And then if you need some sugar, you just rip this guy's head off and you take the spoon out of his arms and take some sugar out of his neck and go ahead and put it in your drink. Fun! I am really happy with how this came out. I just did things a little bit differently this year. Like I said, I usually didn't have any plants or terrariums in here, or if I did, then they would have to be like holiday themed, like only white orchids, just amaryllis, Norfolk Island pines, like, you know, the things that you see around during the holidays. I'm really okay with just having the house plants mixed in there. I think it looks nice. It adds detail, makes the eye look further than just the gingerbread houses. Oh, not that the gingerbread doesn't have enough detail and enough to focus on. Why not add to it by shoving plants in all the little corners? Works for me. I like it. I love it. So much color, so much whimsy. Right now I have the lights cycling through all of their settings because I couldn't pick one. I prefer the multicolor, but the white really does brighten the area up an awful lot. It's hard to tell. The spot is actually pretty dark. The only two of the bulbs in their work need to like to actually take out the sockets, put new sockets in it. It doesn't matter, neither here nor there. Looks good. Color, light, plants, Christmas. Love it. I originally had these with that cookies for Santa plate and I think that they looked good there, but I want to get that plate sitting upright and I just know that somebody was gonna like take those, knock them down. So for right now, they're hanging. <laughs> that was probably a bad idea. That's one thing I would definitely change. That's going to get annoying when you open and close these things, right? I mean, won't that get annoying? I think it will. It was pretty loud just listening to it. When the plate stand comes in the mail, I'll go ahead and move those to hang out over here and that will be more fitting. Also this, don't know why, it was just with the Christmas thing, so there it is. Different kind of vlog, still I think plenty of plant stuff going on, at least as far as conversation's concerned. And I don't normally show the Christmas decorating. Not to this extent, anyways, because it's, I'm aware that it is an awful lot. I haven't shown you the other room. It's even more over the top than this one. We can have a look in a little bit. No, I tossed the other poinsettia that was over here by the fish tank and that ornament planter. I can't find the copper ones, the gingerbread ones. They're around somewhere, I just, I don't know where. So up here on the mantle, have a garland with lights that you can change the color. I didn't know these, I don't, I don't know where these came from. I think these were a gift. 
don't know where else to put them, so I just set them up here. These are setups, you can change them from white or multicolor. I'm on white right now, just because it's a little bit warmer and cozier and bright. That's what I like. Oh, what a waste. Not even getting the effect without the fireplace on. Fireplace on. I got this lantern from Lowe's. Isn't this adorable? It has a little, the, the that thing on it. And it just, it looks so pretty from across the room. It doesn't fit in with anything else that's over here. This is Santa's toy shop. Mm-hmm. Yep, all the, oh. <laughs> Sometimes the elves get naughty. That was my bad. Mr. and Mrs. Claus and all the little like Hallmark throwback toys. There's some My Little Ponies and those things where you pull the cord and they make the sound of the animals that they land on. A teeny tiny little bitty Mr. Potato Head. More baking things that actually, maybe that's supposed to go with the other stuff. I don't know. Christmas light bright. Just all the fun things. Childhood things from my childhood and beyond. And this is the corner of horrors. Isn't that thing terrifying? And then with <laughs> this piggy and Kermit behind it. Yeah, these are just things that really creep me out. So I stuck them in a corner where you can't see them from anywhere else. There's the Santa eating cookies. Carolers, nutcrackers. Like a lot of this stuff is really old. When I say really old, like they were, I don't know, from my childhood, 80s and 90s things. Gifts, hand-me-downs. This was my grandma's. The kissing Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Oh, and there's Tucker. My dead dog's in there. A really cute picture of him and Toby and Buddy. Music box, not much, that's fairly self-explanatory, right? And then over here, I haven't finished yet. This is all like Cardinals themed things. There's the stadium and Ballpark Village and there's also a bunch of Christmas vacation stuff in the mix here. That's always a trick, figuring out the wiring and the things plugged in. I'm gonna have to rearrange them because obviously the big things shouldn't be in front of the lid until you get it. Santa and some reindeer. I think those are different sets. One of them fell over. Christmas dogs, they're cute. Like, how is that? Does that not creep people out? They're so friggin' weird. This one is very old. This was my grandmother's, I believe. I don't think these have tags or anything on them. I believe these are from before it was called the Elf on the Shelf. I don't think that that story existed yet, did it? Some of y'all, you'll know, let me know. Have a fun starry backdrop with some pretty twinkling LED lights in there to just, you know, make the ambiance of nighttime. That, that, I know that that looks bad. I ran out and just went with it. This is what it is. Things can't always be perfect, right? And then look at this. Look at it. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't that beautiful? It doesn't look as pretty on camera. It's full of holographic glitter and it's a little steeple, I believe. Is that what that's called? That's what it looks like. We've got the cat's Christmas tree over here with the fun really pretty sparkly light on there that also does not look as neat on camera as it does in person. It's like a whole entire light show going on in there. And then on the ceiling too, because you know, keeping it classy. An old Rudolph toy. I had to get really creative with anything that was stuffed this year. Like by really creative, I mean <laughs> stick them up high where the dogs can't get to them, where the puppy can't get to them. I also have some faux flame candles tucked around the spot too, around the room, but they need new batteries. And this is like one of my favorite Christmas things back here. And it's the Christmas Calliope. There are little bricks I'm supposed to use to lift those up higher. I just got it set up there and oh, oh almost, almost out of battery. I have one minute of recording time left, so have a look. I forgot I unplugged it. We'll pick up next time. They're from Mr. Christmas. They go up and down, they make sound. They're really cool. No, 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 no. Not gonna tease y'all like that. I went ahead and switched up my memory card and found a way to plug this in. You ready? This, by the way, in person, you cannot see all these wires. The camera really just brings out the flaws and everything. All right, there it is. Oh, that's supposed to be up there. How did that fall down? What? Get back up there. Yeah, I love these. Family tradition. We all have them. All the kids, we all have these from when we were little kids. It's 1993 Mr. Christmas, I believe. Mr. Christmas carousel horses, calliope, something like that. I installed lights behind the TV and I need to get a 3M hook to hold all that up there. Oh, and of course the Christmas tree. It's leaning, it's wonky. That's fixable. I think. I don't know, it's kind of always done that. I got this last year and that's how it's looked. I got a good deal on it. It's from Sam's Club. Changes colors. That's not changing colors. There we go. Multicolor 
or okay or they'll do like fade ins and fade outs you know like that on off the on off i've just had it on solid white lately come on there we go it doesn't have a ton of lights in it but again it was a really good price and watch this you know to be patient this takes a minute <laughs> You see it? Do you see what's happening here? <laughs> You're probably asking yourself, um, why? The ceiling in here is an odd height and the seven and a half foot trees aren't big enough for all the ornaments. What kind of small in this room? They don't make an eight and a half foot tree or even eight foot trees are kind of hard to find. They go from seven and a half to nine. Nine's too big for it in here. Look, you can't get anything on top of that. So nine foot trees never fit in here, but with the one where you can adjust the size, you can bring it down just a smidge, just like probably, I don't know, a few inches lower than that. And all of a sudden there's room on top for a star or an angel. And again, it was a really good price for a nine foot tree that's pre-lit that does that. You don't have to shape it either. You kind of fluff it a little bit. Just connect the top to the bottom and plug it in and it's good to go. And just, just kind of like pull the branches down. That's it. But that's also why it's not lit super well. There aren't lights inside of the tree, which I do like a tree that's very heavily lit. Heavily lit to the point where, you know, you want the lights down in there because it adds depth and dimension. But since it does that up and down thing, I think that that's not an option. I thought about adding lights to it, but then I was like, eh. I'm gonna have to fish those out. I don't want to do that. Nope, there it is. There's what's happened thus far. There's still two other rooms in this house, so I'm not done yet. There's still like 15 totes left. Hopefully get the ornaments on there in a week or two, something like that, maybe sooner, I don't know. It feels good to have all the holiday stuff up. It's, for me, it's all about the lights and the color. I love the lights and the color. Things are colorful, things are pretty. I am thrilled with how the terrariums look back there because of the way the glass reflects the light. That worked out well. So oh, there it is. May not be everybody's cup of tea, but my Christmas st style is just, it's whatever I like. I don't, if you can't tell, I don't have like a particular color or scheme or anything like that. It's just whatever's fun. Although I do kind of like to stick to like classic Christmas stuff. I don't do a lot with like blues and pinks. I like a dark red and a dark, okay. I am kind of specific, I suppose. Like there are certain shades of green and certain shades of red that I prefer, but otherwise, all about the whimsy and the character. Hey, right. thanks for hanging out. This is this is probably a pretty long one. Hope everybody's doing well. Comment down below. What's everybody up to? I'm enjoying the holidays. Things have kicked off for a lot of people. Even if you don't celebrate the holidays, it can still be fun to see the lights and the festivities and all that stuff. Or just say hi. I love talking to everybody. Oh, and I have some picks that are supposed to go in here that look like peppermints and gingerbread and um since I ended up putting all these plants in here, I don't see myself moving these out of the way so I can get back up there. So this is just gonna have to do. I might take a stick and try and fix some spots in the garland, but yeah, this will have to do. <laughs> all right, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.